Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul. Hope you're having an amazing day. AMD's Zen 5 microprocessor architecture is perhaps one of the most hyped and anticipated launches that we're expecting this year. Actually, scratch that, in a good number of years in tech, perhaps the last time I saw so much hype and excitement for a CPU launch was Zen 2. And for good reason, of course, it increased core counts, did a whole bunch of very cool stuff with the CCDs. And yeah, that level of hype and excitement does seem to be back for Zen 5 and for very good reason. There have been a lot of leaks which seem to indicate that the IPC gains are very impressive. Clock frequencies are also going up and now there are some benchmarks which have popped up for Strix Point which are the APUs based on the Zen 5 processor architecture and also RDNA 3.5. So let's have a look at some results and then we're going to talk more about the context for all of this because there is a lot of stuff to go through. Let's just get into it. So this is for a 12 core part, at least um, if this is being detected correctly. And we'll get more into that in a moment. So what that basically means is there are um, uh, 12 cores, 24 threads. Again, assuming that's being read correctly. Now there are two different results here. The first of which you can see is scoring 1217 for the single core score and the multi-core score is uh, receiving a result of 8016. There is also a second result and that is scoring 1024 but the multi-core score is also significantly higher. In this particular instance it's 11,978 and both of these results have basically just very recently popped up so it's the 24th of April 2024. Now, what's quite intriguing here is that the clock frequency, we can start to dig in to the results of the CPU, and basically, it's only hitting 1.4 gigahertz, which is obviously not too impressive. Now, it is very possible that this result is simply just not being read correctly. Geekbench can be let's say interesting at the best of times when it comes to detecting processes and this is only Geekbench 5 unfortunately which adds a level of complexity to this so again it is very possible that one or more of these results are a fake or b um, they are potentially just misreading the information from the CPU and some of the results are just simply being skewed now hold, put a pin on that because yeah there's more to go through. So the OPN product code basically is 100, lots of zeros. I'm not going to go through all of those because I would go insane. 994-14 um, underscore N. Now, this is actually very interesting because this is not the first time that we've actually seen this. In fact, if you go back um, to the mists of time, uh, get into the TARDIS with me, or the DeLorean, as I prefer. I'm much more of a Back to the Future guy, but yeah, you do you. Uh, there was actually, by benchmark, by bench leaks on Twitter, based, oh, and to give them credit, they also detected this result as well that I just discussed, uh, which was the 1024 single result. Um, so back in July of 2013, you will also notice there was a, a Milky Way CS result, and that was also an authentic AMD family CPU, and it does seem to be the same stepping and essentially the same AMD product code. So what most likely this means is the results we are seeing here are potentially anyway a very old sample now that's very important because if this was a new sample if this was like something that just came out like yesterday it basically if it just shipped to you know whoever and that's where this result came from it would mean that amd were quite far behind in its product cycle and therefore it would also cast a lot of questions as to how some of these other results have been coming online but that does not seem to be the case these results do seem to be pretty old indeed or at the very least the chip which generated the codes, sorry, the results are a little bit old. So the, the, the benchmark is new. However, um, it does seem like the actual chip, the engineering sample is pretty old. With that said, Harakazi5719, hopefully I've pronounced that correctly, on Twitter has also found a very interesting post um, by, I'm definitely going to mispronounce this, uh, Mebwa 
a W. I'm not sure. I'm really sorry. I don't know how you pronounce that. So someone please correct me in the comments or DM me on Twitter or something like that. I really apologize. Uh, but anyway, this is a uh, based on the same engineering results. So it's a Zen 5 engineering sample results. And according to them, uh, if you basically adjust for different things, it seems that the single thread is 60% faster than Zen 4 Mobile, which I'm sure you'll agree is very, very interesting. Now, there have been a lot of different IPC numbers that I've personally heard for Zen 5. And honestly, I really do not know what is true. I have some sources who are absolutely insistent that around 20% is the average gain for Zen 5. And that's basically, of course, across different benchmarks. So whether that's gaming, whether that's, you know, content creation, you know, just a bunch of different stuff is around 20%. However, I also have some sources who are very, very, very insistent and i've spoken about this in previous videos that that is drastically underselling the ipc gain now no ipc is of course different to performance now note i am referring here to ipc which is of course not taking clock frequency into account now there's a very dumb and simplified explanation but basically if you have one process which is running at 1000 megahertz and then you have another processor which is running at like 2000 megahertz but processor one has double the ipc then in theory they're going to perform roughly the same now in the real world it doesn't quite work like that for a lot of different reasons but you get the general idea of what i'm saying now i've also had some sources who tell me that 20 percent as an average is way under what Zen 5 is achieving versus Zen 4. Instead, it's more like 30 to 40% average. Honestly, I do not know. Uh, Kepler L2 on Twitter said, I think it was like 30 or 35% integer uh, gain. But it becomes more complicated when you start, of course, taking into account different workloads. How many different threads are we talking about? Is it desktop? Is it server? Because then you could also talk about things like memory bandwidth constraints and so on and so on. Honestly, I'm still not 100% on the Zen 5 IPC. I will essentially just wait for official announcements. I think it's quite interesting, the leaks and you know discussions about it. But again... I am not 100% because I have some sources who have been super accurate and they have literally given me like, uh, actually, I'm not going to specify what type of stuff they've given me, but they have given me things that turned out to be 100% true on both sides. So it's like, I don't know. So I'll be very interested to see. But as for the Strix point results, if they are genuine, and again, it is possible that these benchmarks are fake because, well, you can fake results. Um... It's going to be very interesting to see how Intel are going to compete. Now, obviously, Strix Point um, also has a Halo chip. And to that end, I also want to throw in a bit of a bonus. Um, Harakazi as well has also found a shipping manifest. And I don't really need to explain this one further. This was a very recent uh, um, shipment. It actually dates back to March. So... We are looking here at the Strix Point Halo. Here it's listing it as 55 watts for the FP11 socket. So basically speaking, I'm going to be very interested to see how Strix Point performs in mobile. And I don't just mean in terms of the raw performance. I mean like in terms of AMD wrangling market share from um, from Intel. To my understanding, uh AMD now have started to actually give updated samples. At the very least, they've started to share a lot more information with their partners. I don't know the date of Strix Point Halo, uh, also known as Sarlacc. It might be next year that that launches. I've actually heard that it's possibly going to be... Um, uh, what's the date I'm looking for? CES next year. So I'll be interested to see what happens with that. But um, <laughs> Zen 5... Blackwell, RDNA 4, and Battle Mage. Um, RDNA 5 as well is really cool, but uh, obviously that's kind of a bit later. So for now anyway, it seems that this year we have RD, um, RDNA 4, Battle Mage, and Zen 5. Zen 5, the Vcash variants, however, for desktop, seem to be launching next year as well. Now, I would love for AMD to bring up the timelines for that, but... I don't think they will. So I suspect that that also is probably going to be a CES announcement, which also means that a lot of folks are going to have to make some decisions of like, do they just buy the vanilla chips or do they wait? <laughs> 
decisions decisions with that said guys i'm gonna let you all go take care of yourselves bye for now